Hi everyone, it's me, Roslyn, and now we will discuss what are all the requirements for CFO seminar or for getting a CFO sticker and certificate. But before that, let me say thank you to those who appreciate my um, channel and to those who haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and hit like if you if my videos help you. And if you have time, uh, feel free to scroll my YouTube channel and check all my videos, all my experience for K1 Fiancé Visa to AOS, Work Permit, Advanced Parole, experience here in U.S., and a lot more. Okay, so let's start. After your visa is already approved, you need to register to CFO for your seminar. You have two options, okay? Um, after your interview, while waiting for your visa, because U.S. Embassy Manila will send you or you will pick up your visa. So, it takes around, I think, two weeks. So, while waiting for your visa, you can go to your, you can go to CFO, uh, register first, then you can go to CFO for your seminar. But, the only thing is you cannot receive your CFO sticker because you haven't bring your passport. Because your passport is still in U.S. Embassy Manila. Okay, so you need to go back to CFO after you receive your passport. That's the first one. And then the second option is you need to wait for your passport to receive your passport and then go register and then go to CFO. At least you will go there one time because they can give you your certificate and your sticker. No need to go back because you already have your sticker. That's your two options. Okay, so here are all the requirements. First, you need to go to CFO website to register and you have to print the GCP online appointment confirmation because you need that. There is no walk-in, so you need to register first and set your appointment at GCP online, okay? And you need to print the GCP online appointment confirmation. They have two branches in Manila and Cebu. So if you live in Cebu, no need to go to Manila for the CFO seminar. You can go to Cebu for your CFO. And if you live in Manila, just go in CFO Manila, okay? So I will write down the link for the CFO Manila and Cebu website for you to register and set your appointment, okay? So, just click that link. And so, this is the C GCP online appointment confirmation. So, this is it. That one. So, that is the GCP online appointment confirmation. So, before my date of appointment is June 16, 2016. And there is a question on, um, on that registration. But it's really simple. You can answer that. But I will make a video for that if you want. Okay, and then next, after this GCP online appointment confirmation, you need to bring your um, passport if you already receive your passport. You need to bring your original passport and a photocopy of your passport. But if you go to CFO uh, and you haven't received your passport, your visa, just photocopy, just bring a photocopy of your passport because you need that and tell them that you haven't received your passport yet, your visa and that is fine, okay? And then the next one, oops, sorry. And then the next one, you have to bring two pieces of 2 by 2 colored photo 
and then you need to bring at least two valid id with photograph the first id you need that at the receptionist because you need to leave your id and then the second id is you need that at i think on the second floor because they will request a valid id from you so you need at least two valid id and then next you need to bring cash okay cash for counseling and registration fee no check no credit card just cash for the amount of 400 pesos and this is the receipt this is the receipt so the registration fee is 385 and documentary stamp tax is 15 pesos so total of 400 pesos you need to pay this at cfo building okay so after that so you have to bring cash 400 pesos but please um double please confirm it to cfo if they increase their um, registration fee okay because 400 pesos is last year year 2016 okay and then next you have to bring proof of relationship like photos chat calls email logs you have to bring that and you need to bring if you are previously married you need to bring divorce decree or annulment papers or death certificate of your previous spouse you need to bring that because sometimes they request documents from you and you need to um, show that to them because if not you need to go back and show it to them so additional day and then after that you have to bring a photocopy of your petitioner's birth certificate and original copy of beneficiary birth certificate and then the beneficiary senomar if the beneficiary is single just to prove that um the beneficiary is single and then just bring marriage certificate if the beneficiary is married to the petitioner okay but i suggest just bring all the documents that you brought during your interview because during your interview you have all your documents so just bring it to the cfo at least you are prepared and if ever they will ask you for documents okay so i will repeat all the requirements so gcp online appointment confirmation passport original or photocopy two by two colored photo two pieces at least two valid id with photograph cash for counseling registration fee for the amount of 400 pesos proof of relationship like photos chat calls email logs divorce divorce decree if you are previously married annulment papers death certificate of spouse if you are previously married um, beneficiary and petitioner's birth certificate then send more and marriage certificate if the beneficiary is married to the petitioner okay so the address of um, cfo manila is city gold center 1345 pre Quirino avenue corner osmeña highway manila philippines telephone number is 632-552-4700 and the email is info at cfo.gov.ph city gold center 1345 pre Quirino avenue corner osmeña highway Manila, Philippines. Telephone number is 632-552-4700. Email address is info at cfo.gov.ph. And then Cebu Branch, 4th floor, KNJ Building, number 4, Don Julio Lorente Street, Capital Site, Cebu City. Telephone number is um, 6332 <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry.
sorry for that. Excuse me. Uh, my baby is moving. Uh, then it is. Hold on. Okay. Telephone number 63-32255-5253 and the email address is cfocebu at cfo.gov.ph I repeat, oh, Cebu Branch, 4th floor, KMJ Building, number 4, Don Julio, Lorente Street, Capital Site, Cebu City, telephone number 63 3225552253 email address is cfocebu at cfo.gov.ph okay and i want to show you the certificate the cfo certificate that they will give you after your seminar so this is it so this one it's the CFO certificate. So after your seminar, they will give you the, cert the CFO certificate. And if you already have your passport, this is the CFO sticker. That is the CFO sticker. Okay. So if you want to save time, go there after you, you receive your passport. But if you want to go there while waiting, you can do that also. Um, so I hope my video helped you in some point. If you have any questions, clarifications, just feel free to comment on my video and I will do my best to answer that. And I will write all the links of all my videos in case... Um, uh, you want to know about my experience on K-1 Fiancé Visa. Just uh, scroll down and check all my videos link. Okay, guys? So, good luck, everyone, and have a nice day.